Okay. Let us listen to the Dhammapada. Okay. Good afternoon. Tirvan Sarnai Bhante. Tirvan Sarnai, Tirvan Sarnai. Okay. Listen to this, this uh, stanza. Madhuva Manyati Balo Yavipapanapanjati Yada cha pachati papan Athabalo dupan nigatjati. Again, again. Madhuva manyati balo yavipapan pachati yada cha pachati papan athe balo dupan Nigatjati. Once again, Madhuva Manyati Balo Yavipapan Pachati Yada Cha Pachati Papan. Atabalo dupang nigat chati. Okay, let us try again with my voice. This time I recite line by line, then you repeat after me. Madhuva manyati balo. Yava papang na pachati Yava papang na pachati Yada cha pachati papang Yada pachati papang Maro dup Kang nigajati. Kalo dukkang nigajati. Again. Madhuva manyati balo. Madhuva manyati balo. Yava papang napachati. Yava papang Yada cha pachati papang Yada cha pachati papang Atabalo dukkhang nigajati Atabalo dukkhang nigajati There is one word missing. Let me put it here. You see this word Atha A T H A Atha Atha is uh, we have to insert here. I forgot that word Atha. At the, uh, okay. Ah, uh, good. Then, 
uh, author then. Okay, again. Madhuva manyate balo Madhuva manyate balo Yava papang na pachyati Yava papang na pachyati Yada cha pachyati papang Yada cha pachyati Atavalo dukhang nigajjati. Atavalo dukhang nigajjati. Two line by two line. Madhuva manyati balo yava papang napajjati. Okay, let us see the meaning. Madhuva, sweet. Madhuva actually as sweet. Manyati thinks Balo the fool. Yava as long as Papang wicked deeds na does not pachati ripen yada when cha but pachati ripens the papang the wicked deed other then balo the fool Dukkhang suffering, Nigajjati undergoes. The fool thinks it sweet as long as wicked deed does not ripen. But when the wicked deed ripens, the fool undergoes suffering. So, when a fool does some very wicked things, that moment he thinks he is doing very wonderful thing to make him please, happy. Of course, at that very moment, he may have very short, happiness, pleasure, joy, only at that moment. Soon after that, that fool regrets, regrets when suffering follows him. As you know, the first instance of the Dhammapada, he said that, when you do something wicked by body mind, the results follow you like the cart wheel that follows the hoofs of the ox that pulls the cart. Similarly, this this uh, instance actually revibrate the meaning of the first Dhammapada stanza. This will be more clear when we listen to the story. The story is when uh, Buddha was living in uh, uh, Jetona Rama, <laughs> there was uh, a bhikkhuni who bhikkhuni 
when she was born, her body looked like blue lotus, blue lotus, very shiny. As she grew up, came to the age of growing, many, many people in the city, young people, proposed to marry her, sent letters to her father saying that, I like to marry her, I like to marry her, I like to marry her. So the father thought, this is a nuisance, I cannot please all these people. I don't know which is the good suit for my daughter. Therefore, instead of displeasing them, I must ask her whether she likes to become a nun. Of course, she has been practicing perfections, paramis, meditation, great earnest wish from the time of uh, Padumuttara Buddha. A long, long time ago, she met the Padumuttara Buddha and saw him promoting a bhikkhuni to his uh, one of his two chief female disciples, female bhikkhunis. So she was very, very impressed and she wanted to have that position. <laughs> As you know, Buddha had two chief female uh, bhikkhunis, uh, two chief male bhikkhus, two chief female bhikkhunis. Two chief male bhikkhus, uh, Sariputta Mukallan. Two chief female bhikkhunis were Kema and Uppalavanna. Uppalavanna is like blue lotus. Her skin is like blue lotus. And now when uh, the king, uh, her father asked her whether she would like to become a, a nun, she immediately agreed. It is just like asking a, a turtle whether he wants to go to water. He would very quickly agree. And goes to the water. And a fish likes to go to water. That is his home. Similarly, Uppalavanna, as soon as the father asked her, uh, daughter, my child, do you like to become a nun? She immediately agreed and she took a very, uh, to a uh, nuns monastery and ordain her. At that time, the Buddha had not passed a regulation that would uh, prohibit bhikkhunis to live alone in forest. They are always vulnerable. To, to attack. As being a female throughout human history, they have been victimized many a time by men. This is happening even today. So anyway, when Uppalavanna became a nun, she built a beautiful kuti in a forest nearby to stay quietly. And she uh, practiced meditation. And very soon, she attained 
full enlightenment. Arahant. She became an Arahant. And now, one day, so she made this kuti, made a bed for her to sleep. One day she went out for arms, collecting arms food and returned. And it was a very hot summer day, yeah, keeping her door a little ajar, open a little bit. And uh, still, since she came outside, inside looks still dark. That's happening to us. Uh, when we come out from a, a hot sun, the house inside is dark. So when she came into her uh, kuti, anyway, when she was away, there was uh, another foolish man. His name is Nand. Nand. He is Upalavanna's uncle's son. They were friendly from their childhood. But when she became a nun, Nanda, young man, was upset. So when Upalavanna went for arms round, during her absence, since the door was open, he went and hid himself under her bed. When she returned to Kuti and laid down just to rest for a minute, this man suddenly got out of his bed and raped this Bhikkhuni. She was an Arahant. She has he didn't she didn't have any any one iota of lust in her mind. But this fool, Nanda, is full of lust. And he raped her. She is a fool, don't do that. Fool, don't do that. It is very, very bad for you. But he did not listen. He was so obsessed with lust and raped her. As soon as he finished raping her, she got out of the bed. That instant, he had a, he died and was reborn in hell. That instant. So, when this Upalavanna went and told other nuns what happened, and they told the monks, what happened, they told the Buddha, and the Buddha uh, gave this, uh, recited this stanza. Now, normally, after that, Buddha passed a rule that no bhikkhuni must live alone in a forest away from bhikkhus. They must live in an in a mon monastery, which is close to bhikkhus as the protectors, because they also observe precept, and they are good guardians to bhikkhunis. So periodically, once in two weeks, they can request the monks to give advice to them. That has that tradition has been established then. Anyway, when this fool Nanda uh, went went to hell, Buddha said this. So that moment when he was raped in this bhikkhuni, Arahan Bhikkhuni, not ordinary Arahan, that time he thought that was uh, sweet, very sweet things. Very sweet. Like Madhu, Madhuva, sweet. 
Madhu means honey. Madhuva means like honey. When you eat honey, you have a pleasure of the sweet of honey. And this fool that had that experience and then he thought it was like a honey. As long as the wicked deed is not ripened, a fool can think that he has done something very wonderful, marvelous, very, what you call, a heroic thing. He, was, he became a hero at that moment, adventurous thing. But when the evil is ripened, he experienced fire, burning in fire of hell. That is a very wonderful advice. Now let us see once again the stanza. Now you can see the, the background story and then the meaning becomes very clear. Okay, let us recite it again. Okay. Madhuva manyati balo Okay, let me recite it for you once again, line by line. And you recite after me, and then I want you to recite it by yourself individually. Madhuva Manyati Balo Madhuva Manyati Balo Yava Papang Napachati Yava Papang Napachati Yada Chapachati Chati papang Yada Chapati papam Atabalo Dukhang Nigachati Atabalo Dukhang Nigachati Okay, two line by two line Madhuva Manyati Balo Yava Babang Napachati Madhuva <laughs> Okay, you listen to this stanza once again, and I do. Uh, I like you to recite by yourself. Madhuva manyati balo yavan paapam nepachati yada cha pachati paapam. Okay, now uh go. Matuva Mani Balo Yada chapachati papang at the balo can chapati. Okay, Nimi Madhuva manati balo Yava papam na panchati Yada chapachati papam at the balo very good. Veronic. Matua manyati balo 
Yavapapam la pachati Yadate pachati papam Atabaro to come nigachati. Very good, very good. Malit Maduva manyati baro Java papam na pachati Java cha pachati papam Atabaro to come nigachati. Very good. Maitri and Nipuna. Madhuva manyati balo Yava papang na pachati Yata cha pachati papang Atta balo tukam nigachati Very good. Dayani. Madu <coughs> Maduva Manyati Balo Yava Papang Napa Chati Yada Chapa Chati Papang Ata Balo Dukam Niga Chati Okay Cloister Siri Sampuno All of you together very good, Satima. Maduwa manyati balo yawa papang na pat. Chati Yada Chapachati Papang Atapalo Dukang Nigachati. Very good, Kalina Maduva Manyati Balo Yava Papan Napachati Yada Chapachati Papang Atabalo dukang nigachati. Very good. Ishara. Maduva manu ki balova yavava patam namachati pachiti yadam pachichati babam atabalo duka. Nagachati. Okay. Chandima. Madhuva manati balo. Yavapa panna pachati. Yadacha pachati papam. Atabalo dukam nigachati. Very good. Anaya. Madhuva manati balo yava papam na pachati yada cha pachati papam ata balo dukam nigachi. Good. Maheli. Madhuva manati balo yava papam na pachati yada cha Pachati papam atabala dukam nigachati. Good. Eat me. Tibala yava papam na pachati. Yadacha pachati papam atabala dukam nigachati. Very good. Very good. All right. Now, uh, it is very good that you learn this. Uh, we not only learn Pali words and their meaning, but also we learn the story and the ethics and moral we learn from that and how we 
try to use this knowledge for our own well-being and happiness. That is the purpose of this lesson. One thing is learn Pali pronunciation, their meaning, and second is to learn the stanza, Dhammapada stanza. This is 69th stanza. There are many more. And the third is the story we learn. All these are very, very important things for us to remember. And therefore, try to attend this Sunday class every Sunday. Now, next Sunday, that is 20... Uh, next Sunday is 30th. I think 30th, today is 23. 30th, we have a, a retreat. Uh, let me see, retreat schedule is. Uh, okay. 30th, uh, I think. It, uh, okay. I think 30th, we can have this. Uh, even in the for the uh, Sunday class, and uh, the retreat will not interfere with our uh, Sunday Dhamma class, although it will interfere with other uh, morning classes from Tuesday onward on the twenty fifth uh, onward, I give Dhamma talks. 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. Uh, I give uh, Dhamma talks and 30th is uh, closing talks, also the five talks. All of them I give on Maha Satipatthana Sutta, discourse on the uh, mindfulness establishment of my great discourse on the establishment of mindfulness. So, if possible, try to attain that. Talk start at 9.40, end at 10.40, like now. Okay, friends, with this, we like to end this session and have uh, meditation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. Okay. Okay. May all beings be happy and secure. May all beings have happy minds. Whatever living beings there may be, without exception, weak or strong, long, large, medium, short, subtle or gross, visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth. May all beings have happy minds. Let no one deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere, neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another. As a mother who risks her own life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate a boundless heart. One should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless loving friendliness, above, below, and all around, unobstructed, without hatred or resentment, whether standing, walking, sitting, lying down, or whenever awake, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here, not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed with vision, 
remove in desire for sensual pleasures, one comes never again to birth in the womb. With this, let us meditate. I think you all know instructions. I simply want to give you very basic hints that you should sit in upright position and then focus your mind on your breathing and breathe deeply until your lungs are full and then breathe out slowly until all the air in your lungs is gone and next time when you breathe in you will have lung full of oxygen and your lungs will expand fully you get a lot of oxygen to charge with red blood cells that go to heart heart pumps throughout the body filling or recharging almost uh, 36 million uh, trillion cells in it is said that men have 60, uh, 36 trillion cells women have 28 trillion cells children at the age of uh, 20 uh, 17 trillion cells and so forth these are the information we get from online. I don't know anything about that. Otherwise, otherwise, anyway, all these cells will be charged with oxygen and your body will be very healthy, peaceful. You can breathe very well and gain concentration that make you peaceful. Keep in this basic instructions. Focus your mind on your breathing and breathe, meditate for the next 25 minutes.
By means of this meritorious deed, may I never join with the foolish. May I join always with the wise until the time I attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest realm of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Friends, with this uh, recital, share in marriage, we want to end this session today. And uh, I see you maybe next week. Meanwhile, if you like, as I mentioned, to join our monastic retreat talks, you may do so. I'll speak on Mahasatipatthana Sutta from the 25th till 30th in the morning at 9.40 9 to 9.40 we meditate, 9.40 to 10.40 I give a talk. All based on great discourse on the establishment of mindfulness. Maha Satipatthana Sutta. If you like to read this, you can go to Dig Nikaya long discourse the volume two and then learn it it is very easy and very important discourse for any meditator especially for a personal meditator with this i want to end this session once again i want to wish share my metta wish with all living beings those who are in hospital, suffering from various diseases, taken care of by doctors, nurses, and hospital staff, may they recover very soon and try to find dumb meditation and liberate themselves from samsaric suffering. May doctors, nurses, and hospital staff who risk their own lives sacrificing their comfort to take care of these people. May they all find time to practice meditation and liberate themselves from samsari suffering. May all those who are in various troubled sports, any part of the world, war zones, poverty stricken, discrimination and so on, may they all find peace and practice meditation at end liberation. All those who are in the northern direction, northwest, uh, eastern direction, eastern direction, southeastern direction, southern direction, southwestern direction, western direction, northwestern direction, above and below. All those who are in these 10 different directions, be well, happy, and peaceful, and attain liberation. That is my metta wish, and I wish you all the same. Sadhu, See you. Thank you, Bhante. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Om Sarnai, Bhante. Okay. Om Sarnai, Bhante. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Bante. Okay. okay.